Zell boy army welcome to another video on the channel in today's video we are going to look at the best meta play styles on fc25 right now um, my views have changed a bit since the game came out just trying testing stuff playing with different players and i'm going to go through all the play styles and basically say which ones think are good which ones i think are bad and which ones I think are just normal obviously this is my opinion i've played hundreds i don't know how many games i've played a lot of games um, I've probably already played like seven or eight different weekend leagues and different accounts. I feel like I know the game really well at this point. And for me, um, I think I give a pretty good opinion. Um, update, I didn't stream my champs last night. I had a super busy weekend. Um, it was my wife's birthday yesterday. So I was super busy. But I finally got a great pull. I packed tradable Valverde from rank two. I went 13 and two. I will be posting... Um, the tactics, it wasn't 4-4-2, it was 4 2 3, one second variation. But I will be posting the tactics for that um, tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So we'll start with keepers. They have play styles this year. Um, I don't think Farfra really does a lot. Sure, I would rather have it than not, but I don't really care for it. Footwork occasionally seems decent, but not a big deal. Cross claim, I've not really noticed it. Uh, 1v1 close down is probably the best one in the game. It feels like one-on-ones are pretty good, but when you get this, it feels like it's near impossible to score one-on-one -on -one if they time the keeper coming out well. Far reach is pretty good, but a good player can move the keeper. And a lot of Are you sick to death of getting out-teamed on FC24? Want that god squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. A lot of the long shots getting nerfed. And then Deflector's pretty good. Stops a few stupid goals. So these three are by far the best. I'd probably rank close down, far reach, then Deflector in that order. But the other three are there or thereabouts. Irrelevant. Um, I'd be very interested to see someone like Buffon who's six foot four with far reach. Because most of the far reach keepers tend to be quite small. Um, and we'll just go through them one by one here. So quick step was probably up there for the best player style in the game before the speed boost nerf. It is still good, and it's pretty much needed to do any sort of speed boost now after they nerfed it. However, it's not OP as it was. I still think it's good. It's one of the better attacking ones, but it's not like if a player doesn't have it now, it's a big deal. Relentless, it's pretty good, and at the best value you're probably ever going to get from this play style is probably at this point of the game. Because at this point of the game, um, what you call it, players have less stamina, um, The people are trying out the high press tactics, with less stamina, the stamina's energy is going to run out quicker, so, relentless filling it up, it's useful in particular midfield and fullbacks, I think fullbacks are by far the ones who lose the most stamina, going up and down the pitch, Travella, it doesn't really affect passes or long shots much, so I don't really care, it's one of the most irrelevant ones, Acrobag, irrelevant, who cares, long throw, who cares, Aerial, it's good and one of the better ones. It's not as OP as last year. Last year it felt if you had someone with Aerial Plus and was tall, they'd just win every header. They do win most. It's definitely a good one to have, but it's not one that is as important as before. Um, press Proven, really like that in the midfield. I don't think it's bad elsewhere, but it's not one of these that I'm looking at and thinking, yes, you have to have that. It's good and it's definitely a benefit to have on midfielders. Um, Trickster. Trickster is probably one of the best play styles this year. Tricks are pretty bad this year. If you can hear a file, I'm going off my wife's cooking. Make that what you will. Um, the Trickster fake uh, ball roll, fake shot, for me, is the best trick in the game. Tricks are bad. That is really OP. It's glitchy. It allows you to change direction quick. I use Rutter with it this weekend. I love it. And I think it's up there for the best play style in the game right now. Last year, it was just a bit of a gimmick where you could do some weird kick-up stuff. It could do some cool stuff, but against anyone good, you wasn't really using it. I've not conceded a single goal this year from someone doing like the trickster kick-up flick stuff that they did last year. Um, but it is really good, the fake shot, and makes a huge difference. I think it's really uh, adds a lot to an attacker on this game, so I really like that one. First touch, pretty good. It was good for the speed boost, but not a big deal, so I'm not that bored about that. Flare is just whatever, who cares about that? Rapid is really nice on wingers. Strikers, it doesn't really make much of a difference. I don't find it's nicer to have it the normal one than not, but I don't really care about it. But out wide, I've got a Dharma Trower and Williams. They actually do feel fast, so it's pretty good. Technical, I think it's honestly awful this year. I've seen people talk about it saying they think it's still really good. For me, whenever I've used any technical players, this includes Musiala, 
I just ended up just doing left stick and um, the tricks to fake shot. I really don't like um, technical this year. That's my opinion. I think it's pretty poor. I didn't even use R1 dribbling for it. Maybe I'm just not very good with it. Bruiser, very good. Um, in particular, for shielding the ball and protecting it when you're on it yourself. Theo Hernandez has this. <coughs> it makes him an absolute tank. He's debatably the best gold fullback we've ever seen in the history of Ultimate Team. Um, he has bruises, so strong. It makes a big difference. Slide tackle. I really don't care about slide tackle. I would I rather have it than not sure, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. Anticipate is good, but not as OP as last year. It felt if you didn't have anticipate, you couldn't tackle last year. Whereas it maybe feels the other way this year that tackling is a bit too good. So it makes anticipate less valuable. Still good. Still like it, but I'm not as like, yes, I need to have that. Um, intercept, pretty good this year. Um, Bastoni has this. I definitely notice it when I play against defenders who have it. It's pretty strong. I don't think it's OP. I think it's one of the pretty well balanced ones. And honestly, one of the praises I might give the game this year is that play styles seem relatively okay in terms of balance. Block, good. Not OP. Again, pretty balanced. Jockey, very similar. If I had to pick a defensive one to have, it still would probably just about be anticipate, maybe intercept. Whipped pass, I've barely seen anyone using this. Not many good attacking players really have this at this point. I've not really seen many people using it, so I don't think it's that good. Tiki Taka, it's good. Definitely useful. The passing's not great on this game. Um, so I like having Tiki Taka. Rodri has it. It's definitely good and helps beat the press, so it's a pretty good play style. Long ball, it's not as OP as it was, but it's still really good. Definitely frustrating to play against those first-time long balls. Um, definitely one of the better play styles. Ping pass, pretty good. Incisive pass, again, pretty good. I don't think it's insane, but it's up there for one of the better passing play styles. I think long ball's the best, then pinged, then tiki taka. So I guess inside pass probably isn't one of the better ones, but they're all pretty good other than whip pass, maybe. Power header, I've heard, is good, but I've not used anyone with it. I've not played against anyone using it. Dead ball, pretty irrelevant. Why would you care about that? Power shot, I've not been using this. I've just packed Valverde, and he fits my team, so I'm going to try him out. I'm going to experiment with this, but I've seen the videos online. I've seen people praising about it. It looks crazy. I mean, this is one of the best play styles when used properly. I didn't use the Evolution either to get the Power Shot Plus on my players. But, yeah, Chip Shot, useless. Who really cares about Chip Shot? Um, it's not something I would um, care to use. And then Finesse, definitely up there for one of the best in the game. It's amazing. Top tier. Um, yeah, Finesse. I used Alex Morgan to hit my 15 and 0. It's the best long shot in the game now. Trebellas are still great, but they got nerfed quite hard in the last patch, in my opinion. They still can score some crazy ones, but then they're inconsistent and you miss stuff. So it's like, yeah, I still go for them, but I don't want to spam them, whereas Finesse is consistent, in my opinion. Appreciate you all tuning in. Hopefully, this video has helped you out. Let me know what playstyles you really like. As always, keep it spicy. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.